What's up YouTube? So today I have the WRX here with me and we're gonna talk about the top five mods that I've done for my WRX. I've had it a little bit over a year now. I've driven it 15,000 miles. So I just wanna share with you the top five mods that I think are most worthwhile for the WRX. So to start off, number one. I think that the best mod you can get for your WRX is a shift stop. I have the Perrin shift stop, and what that does basically is that it takes your, your shift, the factory shifter is a little bit loose from the factory. Um, hold on, let me show you. All right, so I know some of you watching don't have a WRX. Uh, you're thinking about getting a WRX, maybe you have one on order. So let me explain to you what the problem is with the factory shifter, or what a lot of people complain about. So when you're shifting, you have the shifter gates, and that's, you know, you go into first, you pull out into the neutral, and then go into second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, so on. So the shifter gates are when you're pushing it into gear. Well, from the factory, it basically, the gate is really wide in the first and second gear. It's really loose back and forth. And same with fifth and sixth, not as bad as first and second because there is a shift stop from the factory on fifth and sixth to help you or to stop you from going into reverse. Um, but this is basically what it feels like. Third and fourth feel very narrow, but first and second feel super wide. Fifth and sixth feel a little bit more wide than third and fourth. And basically what that does is it just, it doesn't feel very like defined or confident when you push it into gear. And so what the shifter stop does is as your shifter's going into these different gates, when you install the shifter stop, it pushes this gate. You can adjust this gate afterwards and you also adjust this gate so that when you're done, all the gates are super tight and they feel consistent. So the reason that I think this is such a great mod is because whether you're dry, whether you're trying to like race, drive, you know, doing a canyon run, just daily driving, this makes a huge difference in how the shifter feels and the satisfaction of just going in and out of gear. Um, and so regardless of what your goals are, I think that this is one of the best mods. And I'm gonna throw in a second mod that is also part of the shifter, just as kind of this package, and that is a weighted shift knob. Uh, the weighted shift knob, it seems like you might not think it makes that big of a difference, but it honestly does. Though, if you add extra weight to the shift knob, it kind of works as a buffer because another complaint about the gearbox and the WRX is that it kind of feels crunchy or inconsistent when you're going between the gears and the weighted shift knob works almost like a buffer. So when you're pushing in between the gears, it just feels more consistent again. So the combination for me with the weighted shift knob improved it so much, I would say that I'm like 80% satisfied with it. I still wish it was a little bit better, but it's way better than stock. All right, so the second item in my top five mod list is a front lip. I think that just adding the front lip onto the car, regardless of which style you like, adds so much aesthetic to the car. It just makes it look lower, more aggressive, more sporty. It's obviously a personal preference thing, but I just love walking up to this car and just seeing the front lip. It's just, it's something that I personally have the eBay lip and it's been great. 
uh, I you have to be careful which one you get. You wanna get one that comes with good hardware. This one did. I'll leave a link in the description for like this specific one that I got. I think it was like, it was around a hundred or a little bit more, but I think that it improves the way the car looks so much um, that I definitely think that for the price, it's an absolute great mod. All right, so for the third mod, my third favorite mod, I'm kind of grouping a couple mods into one here, but is the headlights. So this is a base model WRX, and what I've done is I disassembled the headlights, I painted the housing black, I left the inner chrome ring uh, chrome there. I put in the diode dynamic C lights and threw in some HIDs. And it, it's sort of like the front lip for me. It was relatively inexpensive. The whole ordeal was just a couple hundred dollars, maybe 300. But to me, especially if you have a lighter colored car like this white or the red, um, the contrast of the black headlights with the color, give this car a completely different personality. Um, I just absolutely, I just love the way the front of this car looks with the lip and the headlights. And especially, you know, when it, now with the diode dynamics, having the running lights um, is your C lights, it's pretty awesome. So I definitely recommend that. Fourth favorite mod, Catback Exhaust. All right, catback exhaust. The reason that it's one of my favorite mods is because the catback exhaust really opens up the personality of the WRX. From the factory, there's not really much an exhaust note. And obviously getting a catback exhaust is a personal preference. And so definitely take your time, watch all the sound clips you can, listen to them in person, um, and just find the exhaust that you like the sound of most in that, you know, if you have a family, maybe you want one with less drone. Uh, if you do a lot of road trips, or maybe you just want to go all out and just get the loudest thing possible. It's awesome because there's options for whatever you want. Um, but to me, it's just one of those things that it just really unleashes the personality of the car. And it's just so much more thrilling to drive when you have that exhaust note that you can hear and it just makes it so much more exciting and adds so much drama to the drive and i personally have the mishimoto catback and i've been very happy with it So up until this point, all the mods that I've done are pretty warranty friendly. Obviously, they're not gonna fix the headlights for you if you've taken them apart and modified them, but the major parts of the car are still all good, the engine, transmission, etc. And so this last one is definitely, you know, you gotta decide how much risk you wanna take, but the Cobb access port. So if you're brand new to these types of cars um, or you've never had like a performance oriented car before, you may not know, but this is a Cobb access port. The access port basically lets you change parameters inside the ECU to change the engine's tuning um, and add different features that weren't there from the factory. So. The reason that this is on the top five is because the drivability of the car is improved so much. And obviously you can add power and you can adjust for all your mods with a tune using the access port. But 
not only from a performance standpoint, but from a daily driving standpoint, the access port, it gets rid of the rev hang, it makes the throttle more linear, um, it just makes the car more enjoyable to drive, but you know, this is something that you really got to consider. Um, you know, it's a controversial piece in terms of, you know, there's mixed kind of uh, results if you need warranty work done and they find out you have this. So it's definitely something that uh, you want to think about, not just jump into, but so that's my top five mods. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Comment down below and let me know what you want to hear about next. All right, see you guys.